What's up, everybody? Doc Doc One Ninety Five. There's levels to this. So, um, this is a quick video I'm gonna put out there talking about the control freaks. So, listen, man. I really wanted these things to work for me. I really wanted to to like them. Um, but to be honest with you, I feel like I play better without them. So, this I'm gonna show you two different gameplays that I have. One is with the control freaks. The other one is without the control freaks. Keep in mind. I am trash. I'm not even gonna lie, okay? I'm not good. I'm not good at all. But you'll be able to see um, which one I can aim better with. So I'm gonna talk through it, uh, let you know what's going on in my head, what's going on in my mind, and how how it felt at the time when um, I was holding the controls. So if you go back and look at one of my older videos where I'm talking about control freaks, I mentioned how they they feel comfortable in the hand, right? Like for some reason, I just play better without them now i saw a few comments saying hey man you just got to get used to them this isn't that i gave them a fair shot uh you guys will be the judge let me know what you think i play better with okay so just just take a look at this y'all tell me okay so obviously i suggest where to land because uh yeah i like to land there anyways So we decided to land an airbase, and as soon as we land, there's people here, so that's perfect, right? I'm going to ship. Perfect. Got a weapon. I got a hemlock, which is one of my favorite weapons in this game because the recoil is almost non-existent, so aiming should be pretty easy. I scan. I already saw there's a guy to our to my right. Pick up a few weapons. Uh, okay, he's, he sees him. I know he's in there. Boom! First shot hit. And then if you looked at it, my second shot went far right. Okay. I gotta get out of there because they're grenade. My guy gets knocked. I run inside. I know he's close, so I don't need to aim down sight. Boom. Got him. Okay. Look how many shots I'm missing, though. Because I don't want to move the stick too much. Shoot him in the head with the wingman execution style. And here we go now. So I'm healing up. Okay, you're healing up. Okay, you're healing up again. Yeah, I got Juju next to me, guys. All right, so obviously, if you've never played this game, or if you have played this game, you know there's uh, squads of three, so the other two have to be close, and they're probably gonna go get his banner. Uh, in this game, typically positioning is very important because you can't kill people with just like one or two shots. So, you know, we know we get high ground, you aim down, you're hitting headshots, I mean, it's better. So, again, this time I'm, I'm using the control freaks right now. Okay. My sensitivity is a three across the board, okay? Okay, hit that shot, miss that shot, hit that shot, okay, not bad, not bad, right? Nice. Keep in mind, I am playing on PC with a controller, so the I'm aiming PC. advantage definitely goes to... The mouse and keyboard, obviously. I'm not naive. Look, uh, I'm missing those shots. Hit one shot, finally. One of my guys drops. I don't know why he dropped. I'm trying to hit this guy with this wingman. I fall a little bit. The other guy drops. I come down. I don't want him to get finished. These are all hit fires. Okay, got the hit fire. Again, this is a hit fire, so it's a little bit easier. And then I get destroyed. So, that was the first game using the... Control freaks, not bad, right? Um, well, I don't know. You guys be the judge. Actually, I do think that was pretty bad. It was, I definitely hold on. I do. I'm doing it again. I definitely should have won a lot of those fights. There's no reason why that that went down the way it went. We should have been able to. We had the high ground. I mean, there's there's no reason besides the guy falling off, which I don't know why he fell off. But I should have been able to hit my shots, but. I didn't. All right, so now we're gonna watch this game now when we load up, and yeah, we'll see what you guys think. All right, so here we go. This is the second game. Now I got the control freaks off. The biggest difference I can tell you is aiming wise feels better with the control freaks, like it feels better. It feels better aiming wise, but the truth is 
the controller itself actually feels better in my hand with fighting. Just being honest. Alright, so let's see. So I asked to land right away. They go ahead and concur. Oh no, I'm tripping. I'm actually jump master. Always people land here, so I figured this will be good. I pick up a weapon. I'm just trying to show you how well or how not well I aim. So again, right now this is without the, the control freaks. In my hand, the controller feels a lot smoother. It feels like it's easier to move because, it, I don't know, it just feels like I'm, I can move faster. But again, aiming is all about making precise movements. So being able to move faster is not necessarily, you know, great. My guys are fighting. I'm still looting. There's one right there. This video doesn't count because, I mean, he didn't have a weapon. I had a weapon, and he was literally right in front of me. So I, I, I probably didn't even have to aim down sight. So... Now this is going to be a horrible sequence, trust me, I know. Alright, so I know there's somebody over there because I just scanned them. But when I opened that door, bam, it was right there. I was able to hit a few. Now if you guys are, are noticing, anyone that plays Apex, you're not seeing like the number markers because I take those off. I don't, I don't like seeing the number markers. So I'm just shooting people until they drop. You can still tell when you break shield. So it's either shield's broken or not broken, and then you just go from there. So that was a hor that was horrible uh, aiming example, but it gets better or or worse. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward, and we'll go from there. All right. So this is still the same game, just fast forward a little bit. So I, I hear this fighting going on. If you look at the map, you can see that my team is not even near me. I told them I was going to push. They said no. And typically I'm a team player, so I wouldn't have pushed. But I'm trying to make this video for you guys. So I said, forget it. I'm pushing anyways. So I did. I pushed. And uh, yeah, you guys are going to see what happens. I thought I heard them up there like if you, from listening from the sound. So they didn't sound that far. But I guess they, they must have kept moving. Uh, and you'll see what happens. So... One of my teammates at this point is move is coming to me, which I appreciate. The other guy is still looting back there, um, and then he's decided to loot, to loot. But I literally told him like I'm pushing, so I don't know. I feel like they should have came with me. I don't know, but that's a different story. So I pop my ultimate. I scanned the wrong way. There's nobody here. I, typically, there's always somebody in there, but nope. So now I can hear the gunshots a lot better. So they did move. As you can see, the tracks, like, they just kept moving. I think Bloodhound is so... I don't know. I think I just really like his abilities. I really wish he had a small profile. That'd be perfect. Like, make him lose some weight. Okay, so here I see, like, the first enemy. Now, again, I'm no, con no control stick. Okay, I got him. He was already low. But I was able to hit him. That was a pretty small target from far away. And took three shots. Then right here, I see somebody else pop out. I trace them. Bam, bam. I anticipated where they're at. So those shots right there, I'm not missing on purpose. I'm just anticipating where they might pop up. So, okay, there now. Those were misses. Now I come around. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, so, I mean, I felt pretty pretty comfortable there okay just being honest with you uh, just running around i felt like i was in full control when i was aiming i felt like i was in full control the the, the position the the preciseness is is maybe not there but the overall experience of playing with the shorter sticks to me um just i just play better i don't know what to tell you i just play better so at the end of the day you have to go with whatever is going to make you better right so if we have 30,000 people saying that control freaks do work then hey that's great but if it, they if they don't work for me then they don't work for me the next thing that i'm getting to try to get an edge is uh i'm getting the back paddles on my controller which uh, i actually ordered those i ordered them today so it shouldn't it shouldn't take that long to get here and once i get those back paddles what i want to switch out is my jump button and my slide button and we'll see if that makes a difference because apparently the time it takes between you taking your your, your finger off the sticks to press uh, the slide button or the jump button can be the difference between life and death i don't know how true that is uh we'll see 
Uh, I'll let this play. Uh, I'm about to die here in a second. I think it's funny. You can see that one guy is like, like, uh, spectating me. I don't know if he thought I was a hacker. No, dog. You got killed by somebody playing on a controller. That means you're garbage. Facts. Look, man, for, for all you that play on PC, if you think that we have an advantage playing on a controller, especially with that aim assist, I don't know what aim assist is like on other games, but I, but on this game, aim assist is, is, is really not that it's not that serious, trust me. If, if you want, I can make a video on it and show you how aim assist is pretty much garbage in this game. So if, we're, if you're playing against a controller and the controller beats you, I don't know what to tell you. You need a new mouse. Uh, we out. Peace.